Let's welcome to the like show that. from House Judiciary, Congressman Jeff Andrew. Congressman, it's good to see you. First day on that breaking news that Speaker Johnson is going to meet with Jewish students at Columbia University. What's the thinking behind this trip? Well, I think he obviously wants to show support, wants to show that we're behind them and the struggle that they have. I think we need to do more than just throw the press conference and be there, and I'm glad that he is going to be there. We need to really start meeting with more of these university presidents, let them know any money that they're getting directly or indirectly from the federal government is going to cease to flow if they continue these activities. They're anti-Israel and they're anti-America. They're death to Israel and death to America. America and it's wrong and it has to stop. So let's move on back to this. You know, re Republican senators denounce the lack of border security in the foreign aid package. I mean, Senator Mike Lee is urging voters, quote, tell your senators to vote no and kill the bill. Can House Republicans hold on to their majority and push back on the Biden agenda? Because Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, she still wants to vacate Speaker Johnson's seat. She faces a steep climb. Former President Trump backs Johnson. What's going on with the fight behind the scenes here? Well, here's the real deal. This is what I believe, and this is what I've heard from other members, and I've spoken to a lot of them about this on the floor and off the floor. We cannot vacate the speaker's position right now, and this is the reason why. We have to win. We need a strong majority, a better, more conservative majority in the House of Representatives. We need a majority in the Senate, and we need to win the presidency with President Trump at the helm. When we do that, next year, next session, we can think about a lot of the things that we're doing and move forward in a positive direction, including the speaker's position. But we don't need a sideshow right now. And by the way, let me say this. Okay. It is, I, I want folks to know I am disgusted and tired of business as usual in Washington, D.C. We're spending more money and we're still not controlling our own border and letting people in, some of whom are dangerous and would do harm to the United States of America. We don't take care of our own people and our own nation, yet we're spending money all over the world. Yeah, families, money, family, families don't want to see another Lake and Riley murdered. I mean, you worried about the Republicans shrinking House majority? Because here's the backstory: a number of Democrats on the record saying they would rescue Speaker Johnson, vote to stop any resolution to vacate him. But reportedly, that is hinging, hinging on the willingness to do votes to extend things like federal surveillance power and provide more aid to Ukraine, but not the U.S. border. Final word. Final word. Unfortunately, FISA was passed through the House, allowing spying on American citizens wrong. The appropriations bill was passed through wrong. Okay. And certainly what happened here with the foreign aid bill is the wrong way to go. I'm disappointed, but Got we it. cannot vacate right now. Got it. Congressman Van Drew, thanks for joining us, giving us the update.